Ammunition here at CES 2017 in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm very excited to be here. This is my first CES, and I'm here to give you some tips about live streaming from events. Usually when I stream from conventions, I'm on a desktop computer. But if you wanted a mobile setup, you could use something like this. This is the 2016 Razer Blade Pro, and it's running a Intel Core i7 processor. You need a really strong processor for streaming at all, because it's such a CPU intensive task. We also have the Razer Stargazer camera with Intel RealSense technology, so that means that you don't have to bother with bringing your green screen with you. One of the reasons you might want to have a mobile streaming setup is because every streamer knows that it's our nightmare to be away from creating content for long periods of time. Conventions are always a few days, and it's terrible being away from your community and being away from your viewers. So I would love to have a mobile streaming setup so that I could be producing content while I'm at conventions. One of my favorite parts about live streaming from events is that I usually get to play things before they've been given to the rest of the gaming world. Like I got to play Sombra a few days before she released on the public servers, and I got to play on Eichenwald before anyone had access to it. If you're streaming from an event and you run into trouble, it's really going to depend on the setup that you're using when you're trying to troubleshoot everything. That's why I think it's important to know what kind of equipment they're going to be having you use so that you're familiar with it before you even go to the event and then you know how you can help them make the whole thing work. One of the big challenges of streaming from a convention is always the internet connection. You're going to have to reduce your bitrate to accommodate the internet connection at whatever, either your hotel or the convention center. In an upcoming video, I'll be talking about bit rates and frame rates and how you can adjust those things to accommodate your internet connection. It's really important to show up early for your live stream, so if they want you there, you need to be there probably like half an hour in advance. You have to log into all your accounts, you have to remember that you have to get your stream key to put it into the streaming software. There's a lot of bits and pieces that go into streaming and it's better for you if you're going to be there early and you know that you have everything set in advance. So make sure that the company that you're streaming for is going to give you enough time so that you can prepare.